Hello guys, today I want to answer a few questions from my YouTube channel, from your comments about seeding, about advanced seeding. So one question comes from Lasse and he asks about advanced seeding with relationships. So if models are deeply dependent on one another, for example, three levels, so users with a company, with offers, stuff like that. So I will have another example, but basically the question is about seeding the relationship three levels deep. And another question comes from Sander. How about seeding the blog post in Markdown and a banner image? Markdown is not that really complex. It's just a text to seed. So I don't want to focus on that. But banner image is how to fake the files with faker in seeding. Let's take a look based on the example of seeding the users with fake images, which is like 50 by 50, just random small image. And also for each user, there will be in addition to the user's record, there will be projects. Project will be with user ID belonging to user. So each user will have 10 projects and then each project would have 10 tasks. So it's user, 10 projects and 10 tasks for each project. How does it look in the code? In the database seeder, we have one user seeder. And first, let's take a look at the relationships. So that user seeder looks like this. If we run that in a terminal, PHP Artisan migrate fresh seed, it takes quite a while because it actually generates the images. So three seconds for 10 users. And the code is this. First, we create the user factory 10 users based on the default user factory from Laravel almost, except for the fake image. And I will show you that in a minute. So we create 10 users. And then for each of them, we have a callback function. And that user is the result of that factory creation. And for each of the user, we do the same with project and project factory will have all the fields for the project model except for user ID, which we fill in manually, create, and then we override the user ID with the same user from here. And then we can create another each. So a third level deep, each of the project, the same logic, task factory, and overriding the project ID. If we take a look at the project factory, we have two fields in the database, basically name and user ID, but we don't fill user ID in the factory itself. We fill in here with the seed. Same for the task. There are two fields, name and project ID. We don't fill project ID in the factory. We fill project ID here. So that's how you can deal with relationship filler. And now let's take a look at the other side of the question about images. So in the user factory, we can use this faker and faker has image generator in itself. So you can do faker image. You provide the folder where to store that image. In my case, it's storage app public avatars. Then width and height of the image. Category is irrelevant and full path is false. The result of that is this list of files. So in storage app public avatars, we have 10 random PNGs, random images, 50 by 50, which then you can show in the list. For example, in the index blade, you can refer to them as asset avatars and then user avatar. But of course, for that to work, you need to run the command PHP artisan storage link. So yeah, these are my short two answers to the questions about advanced seeding. If you have any more questions about seeding, shoot them in the comments below. I may shoot more videos in the future. And subscribe to the channel to get daily videos because the channel is still called Laravel Daily and I keep shooting daily videos. See you guys in those other videos.